Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the Long Dark Experiment on our quest to survive for 500 days on Interloper with a bit of a twist. This is episode 44. Let's go ahead and resume our game. Okay, we are currently in the gold mine. Uh, let me get a drink. We did spend the night here, and of course, I forgot to drop our saplings, uh, which I'm going to do right now. Because I think I want to head out um, before we continue our adventure farther uh, beyond this point. I think I want to go back just outside the gold mine there. There's a chance we could find, um, I don't know, we did hear some ptarmigan. And also, there's I think there's a body we need to loot. Let me get the lantern going here so we can actually see what's going on. Alright, he's got the saplings. We do have a rap, our rabbits here. Just make sure I dropped everything. Um, at the end of the last episode, I did come over here and grab a couple items that uh, did not save. So let me grab these real quick. Like Got some hard. lantern fuel and some gloves. And uh, that lantern fuel is going to be really nice. Almost half a liter of lantern fuel. Sounds like we do have a storm. Um, let's take off our shoes here so we don't get get our boots uh, wet here and our socks it's gonna be pretty cold oh, yeah that's gotta be so cold there's a chance that the uh, I think the body could have maybe some bullets or something so it might be worth checking out and then I do want to level up our archery skill so if we can find some ptarmigan uh, I think I will take a shot at the ptarmigan we're getting kind of low on food. Uh, we could dip into our uh, cattails or the other, I think we might have some like uh, jerky, beef jerky or some potato chips or something. Um, but if I can, you know, I'll, I'll uh, we'll cook up the ptarmigan meat. We've got lots of fuel. Let's see what's out here. I think it'd be cool here in the gold mine. I was thinking, you know, it'd be really neat if they added like a gold vein or like some quartz. A lot of time in gold mines, they follow the quartz. So there'll be like a gap in the rock where crystals will, will form. They'll, they'll be like clear quartz crystals. And then the gold uh, will actually form in between the uh, crystals a lot of times. So they're, they're typically following the quartz veins when they're, when they're mining. I think it'd be cool if they added some textures here. Of course, uh, gold is completely worthless uh, in this game if we did come across gold, but it, it would be fun to see, I think. Uh, I'm gonna put my shoes on here. Kinda, you know what, I was thinking about that too. Isn't it cool that the gold mine has, um, how do you say this? Like it, it's not gold that's valuable. It's actually the uh, the te technical backpack and uh, the crampons. Um, I just think that's so cool. It kind of shows priorities of survival. The gold gold kind of becomes worthless. Of course, you can't eat gold. You can't really do much with gold. Um, but the things that really do matter are you know your com carrying capacity and uh, food, water, those those kinds of things. I just think that's really cool uh, part of the game. All right, let's head out and go check out this body, unless it's like a total blizzard, which kind of sounds like it might be a complete blizzard. Um, which, if that's the case, of course, there's not going to be any ptarmigan anyway. And, of course, it's a total blizzard. Just uh, kind of unfortunate. Um... I might still, I might still go check out this body. We will get maybe cold. I mean, our temperature's dropping so fast. Um, I'll go check out the body, see if there's any loot, and then maybe we'll just carry on. Got a long journey ahead of us if we decide to press on. Oh, we got more saplings actually really impressed with how many saplings are here. I 
So even if we don't find any loot on this body, at least we got the uh, got some more saplings. All right, we are cold. The body should be up here, kind of near the uh, waterfall. Okay, how do we get over there? This will come in handy. All right, yeah, we got some uh, got some rifle shells. That was worth it. Let's head back. Probably should have dropped a bunch of uh, loot before we came out because we are pretty heavy. Definitely slowing us down. Okay, so inside the the gold mine, we do have that crafting table, the uh, workbench. Um, so we could maybe craft up another arrow, try to pass some time. Oops, I got stuck. Okay, well, the ptarmigan live another day. Pick up our boots. So I am a little bit concerned about our weight situation, even with a technical backpack. Um, we are pretty heavy, and we're going to have some ropes to climb if we uh, try to ascend Timberwolf Mountain, which is it's pretty much my goal, let's get to the top of Timberwolf Mountain. Looks like we are pretty hungry. I need to eat some food up here pretty, pretty quick. We do have a good supply of cattails. Yeah, that, poor, that water's gotta be so cold. Try to get through it quick. There you go, Astrid. All right, let's put our shoes back on so I don't forget. Drop these saplings. Let's put our put out the lantern. And I gotta get some food. Let's see, I think I, yeah, I saw some canned food. Let's eat the canned food first. It is gonna be heavier. We'll eat the uh, tomato soup. Oh, we got some dog food too. Drink a soda. Kind of wash down the aftertaste of the dog food. Um, now we do have three liters. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to craft if it will let us. Hopefully, there's enough light. Got our nice tools here. I'll have to listen to see what the storm is doing. Okay, storm. Sounds like it stopped. Um, so in that case, I think
think I want to take the window of opportunity here. Let's leave the firewood here. Um, I don't think we need this anymore. Field dressing your kill. I think we already leveled that up, right? Carcass harvesting, level five. So we can drop that. I do want to keep the uh, angler, frozen angler book on fishing. 24 coal would be nice to bring that with us. We'll see what else we can drop. Get lightweight here. I'm trying to decide if I want to put those on or not. We might use them when we uh, descend the rope. Um, got three liters of water. Let's drop one. Okay, I think I picked up some extra tin cans. And we've got a bunch of torches. I'm going to take a step to the side and then drop some of these torches. Okay, we're just barely heavy. Um, I'm wondering if I fill up our canteen. I mean, not our canteen, our, uh, our lantern. Where's the lantern? Let's fill this up. Okay, lantern is full. Um, we could also prepare some of these items. Like we got these burdock. Could uh, craft these up. I think that will save us a little bit of weight. Okay, rose hips. Um, what's our weight now? Forty-five point one five. A drink. Okay, we're lightweight now. Um, I think I do want to take the saplings with us. We'll probably end up leaving them in the cave, maybe at the deer clearing. Oh, wow, check that out. Dropped all the torches right, right in the rocks there. Okay, yeah, I think I'll leave all, all those, but I am going to take the saplings. Oops. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Yeah, hopefully I can make that work as we are uh, trying to descend these ropes. I'll have to figure something out. I may, I may end up leaving the gloves and stuff here. You know what? I'm going to do that. Let's drop. Got these gloves. It's going to help a little bit. Uh, let me put out the lantern. Oops. Pushed the wrong key there. There we go. Let's put out our lantern. Let's just see if I can get rid of as much as possible here. Um... You know what? I want to. If I'm going to leave this, I want to put it back by the crafting bench, workbench. So let's grab these. I'd like to leave all the loot together so I don't have to try to fish around for it if I come back here. Okay, let's put out our lantern, save on fuel. I'm going to drop the gloves. Um, I think I'll drop a couple coal. Clothing looks good. I may have to drop some of these saplings after all.
We might be okay. You know what? If I just drop one liter of water or so, we should be okay. Let's go down the ropes, I think. Yeah, I think we should be okay. So I, I, I'm really going to try to bring these saplings with us. Alright, let's light it up. See how far we can get. It'll be really nice if we uh, are able to make it to the top of Timberwolf Mountain this episode. I think that would be really nice. One thing I need to keep an eye out for is some scrap metal to try to uh, repair our uh, hacksaw. I mean, we do have a little bit of time, but um, hopefully, when we get to the uh, top of Timberwolf Mountain, We'll find some scrap metal so we can fix up our hacksaw. And I do have the quality tools, which that's really going to help. Hey, we got some coal. It's good to have a full lantern again. It's so convenient just to be able to click it on whenever you need to. Okay, nice. All right, guys, so um, somebody asked me in uh, one of the previous episodes, I think it was two episodes ago, that's when I turned around and I didn't come the direction I had been planning to Ash Canyon. And uh, they were asking, why would I turn around? By the way, let me let me put these on. Um, are we warm? No, you know what, I'm gonna leave the insulation on. Let's keep the insulation on and we'll switch to these for, I don't know, is that going to work? I don't know. I do like having the insulation on. Okay, well here is the deal guys, is uh, we have multiple rope climbs right here. And this is a treacherous um, part of the map. Like, uh, this is really pretty rugged terrain with bad weather and stuff like that and some people have actually lost their runs their lives on these rope climbs there's two really big rope climbs back to back there's one right there so that's that's another rope climb and uh, you can get stranded right here where we are trying to get up that last little rope climb right there So you've just got to you got to uh, plan it really carefully. And the other thing is, I wanted to try to swing around where we went to the Angler's Den. So if we'd come this way, we would we would have bypassed all of that. All right, I'm gonna drink our water and then drop a bunch of it, I guess. Are we lightweight yet? Let's see, where are we at? 45.62. Let's drop half a liter. Just barely, uh, barely heavy. There we go. All right, let's go for it. You know, I probably should have drank a coffee. That would have been smart because I am using up uh, three arrows going down for our tired meter. You can see how tall this rope is, though, guys. I mean, this is a serious, serious rope climb. All right, give me the ledge. Did I say I hate being cold? Because I really do. Be nice if I could throw that off the edge. Yeah, it's going to make me heavy. All right, we'll leave it here. Um... Let's just keep going. Felt so cold in my life. Can I grab that rope? You know, I should have switched to the crampons because we're already cold. Could have put the crampons on and taken off the insulation. I'm going to try to get some more firewood 
as we uh, progress here. Got a little camp here. On lower difficulties, I think you can actually find some tools. Uh, like a, maybe a heavy hammer or something right here. There might be a deer over here. I think I've seen a deer on the ledge. So I might get a fire started if we do see the deer. And there's a possible moose spawn right down below us. So gotta watch out for him. Got another rope climb. So three rope climbs to get out of here. You can see that would be pretty, pretty treacherous. You gotta plan that so well. Hey, there's our moose right there, guys. Um. I don't know, what do you think? Should we do should we do a moose kill? Let me put on our crampons. Too encumbered. Oh why? Why am I too encumbered? Is it because I'm tired now? Okay, I think I need to get a fire going and we'll warm up some tea and maybe even sleep for an hour. I'm going to use a torch. 95% is still pretty good, but I don't know. I kind of gambled last episode at 95%. All right, we'll get nice and warm and uh, maybe rest up a little bit. We can go down this last stretch. But yeah, guys, it is so easy to get stuck here if you get heavy or tired. Um, I'm going to sleep for an hour. Sorry, son. It's going to get a lot colder soon. Okay, we're not heavy anymore. We didn't fully warm up as I had expected. I thought we'd be nice and warm, um, but we can drop can drop some tea and coffee. I think that will warm us up. I don't know if I want to go for this moose or not. Um, I mean, we do have that cave right by us, so maybe maybe we could take him out and then... I don't know, I'll have to think about that. 13 minutes. Um, it's just past time. This pack is kind of heavy. Let's see, I'll use one of these. Drink a rose hip tea. Then I'm gonna drop the water we just cooked. I didn't really need it. Just didn't want to waste the, uh, the fire. Okay, and then we got a bunch of torches. Lightweight, let's go. I 
Yeah, I'm telling you guys, this is a run killer. If we if we hit these ropes wrong, get tired, get a blizzard blows in, and we're, we can't go up, we can't go down. I mean, it, it turns ugly really fast. Um, I do need to watch out. There's a moose right in front of us. Gotta watch out for the moose. I'm not sure how I'm gonna approach this. Can I even get up here? Be nice if I could get on the log and take some shots at him or something. Can I get up here? No. I see you, Moose. Hopefully you don't see us. He's looking right at me. You're right in the center of our screen. How are we going to do this? I could scare him away. Really, I'm trying to get onto this uh, branch here or something. Can I get up here? A little bit. I see you, Moose. Um, I think I'm going to have to let our torch go out. Is he frozen? He might be glitched out, guys. Kind of looks like he's just kind of stuck there. No, should I take a shot? He's not moving at all. Kind of afraid to take a shot at him. Oh, there he goes. I should have taken a shot. I thought he was glitched out. Maybe he'll come back now. All right, stay right there, Moose. Where are you going? Come over here. Got him. Well, he's mad now. Where are you going, Moose? Hopefully doesn't stomp, stomp on me. Oh, uh, this is bad. I don't think he saw me. I gotta get back up on, on this log for safety. So dark. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, got an arrow right there. Got to remember that. We get him. I think we got him. I think that was him dying. And the arrows just fell out. Okay. So I've got like one arrow down there and then a bunch right in the moose. Hey, nice guys. We didn't get stomped. We got a moose. Hopefully he's dead. He's like died standing up. You dead? Thanks, buddy. It's a goddamn freezing. Take a look at this beauty. a screenshot right there. Oh. 
Oh, he's a beauty. Well, I think that will help us with our uh, archery skills. Let me go get our other arrow. Can I get down here? I shot and missed. There it is, right there. I think most of our shots landed. That's. I think that's the only shot I missed, right there. Ooh, I'm getting some lag. It's not a good time to have lag. I could eat a horse. Um, can I get up here, please? Uh, I gotta go around. Okay. Um, guess I need to get a fire started. We're so cold. Fortunately, I've got all that coal with us. And over there, guys, there is a cave. So if uh, if things go badly, where are you, Moose? You over here? Um, if the weather takes a turn, we can head back over there and get our torch out. Fire. Well, that was some good archery practice right there. Uh, I think we got a little bit more skill. Each of those shots landed. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll use a stick and some coal. I want to try to get a little bit of meat. So I, I'm going to just try to cook up as much... Um, cook up some of this meat while we harvest him. 18 minutes. Should be warming up now. Let's get a few uh, kilos cooking on the fire. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Okay. Let's add another piece of coal. I want to. I want to look at this. It's actually a really cool picture right there. <laughs> Let's get this meat out of the way. Yeah, it's kind of a cool thumbnail. Um, I think what I'm going to do, guys, is rest for an hour while this meat cooks, and we'll save our progress. So I'll see you guys in an hour. Okay, nice. Ooh, looks like the weather is making a change. Let's eat some of this meat. Okay, I think we're completely out of water because of the rope climb. And I'm a little bit worried about the weather changing here. I'm gonna cancel. Hour and fifteen left. Looks like we might make it before the weather changes. Nice. Oh, I think our uh, moose hide's on fire. Let's move it over here. Okay, um, 
52 minutes left on the fire. I'm just going to harvest as much as I can. Hopefully our water doesn't boil off. Let's get a drink. Let's see what the weather's doing. It actually cleared up. Nice. Um, you know, I want to get these guts out of the way. Put the guts over here. Okay, I got uh, 51 minutes or so left. Let's add some more coal. It's a little later in the night than I would have uh, would have liked, but uh, if it means we get all the meat harvested. It's not, not really a bad thing, I guess. there. I'm curious what our archery level's at. Maybe when I'm done with this bag here, I'll take a look at it. Alright, let's move the meat. Alright, let's check our archery skill. Where are we at? Archery. Looks like just maybe a tiny bit past halfway to level five. It's coming along nicely. Fire starting's getting up there too. It's nice. Okay, I think I better add another piece of coal. Got two bags remaining after this one. The sun's coming up. Pretty much spent the whole night working on this moose. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Okay, just about there. I'm really looking forward to going to sleep.
37 minutes. Perfect. And the sun's coming up. All right. Um, I'm going to eat this. Let's put some water on while we transport some of this to the cave. Okay. Yeah, sun's coming up. Let's take our moose hide. Yeah, we are pretty heavy. Um, I think I want to get a torch. I'm not sure if the guts are going to attract wolves. Let's get a drink. And I'm hoping we can make it to the cave. Just need to find where it is. don't think this is it. I think it's going to be over here more. I think it's behind that rock, actually. Drop the hide and the guts up here. We'll leave it in uh, in the cave to cure. We got a deer. Okay, where is our cave? Is it up? Is it up there? Jesus, this is cold. Seemed a little too steep. I think that might be it. Yeah, I think this is it, guys. Wonder if a wolf was gonna come and uh, get one of those deer. Yeah, this is the cave. Perfect location. It's just right where we need a cave. Okay, nice. Warming up a little bit. Let's put the guts right here. Drop the moose hide right here. Let's drop all our saplings. Let's see what else I can drop. Um, I could drop our tools. Drop the lantern for now. Um, you know, I probably should just drop as much as I possibly can. We are pretty tired. We'll keep the hacksaw or the uh, hatchet just in case.
I mean, why not? Drop some of that. Let's go get our pot and some of the meat, make our way back here. Hopefully the fire didn't go out. Yeah, I think I need to warm up a tea. Looks like our fire's still going, that's good. That water boiled off. Nine minutes. Um, I'll add a stick so I can warm up a little bit and then drop a tea here in a second. Bring as much of this back as I can. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. <laughs> so much meat. I'm gonna drop this meat where we can see it a little better. If we come through here. Drop it right here. It's about as much as I want to carry. It's going to get real heavy if I try to take all of it. This cave is going to be stocked for the future. Going to have lots of meat in there. I think I want to head over there and sleep as long as we can. I don't want to sleep the whole day though, probably just the morning. Well, getting the moose was a little bit of a uh, divergence from the plan. Hopefully you guys are okay with that. It did slow us down a little bit. But uh, one nice thing is we will have a full belly. Not gonna have to worry about food. And uh, I do have the uh, moose hide curing for the future. Uh, and all, all the guts too. I mean, those guts are probably, probably more valuable than the hide at this point. The 
can hear the deer. There he is right there. Ooh, birch bark. You know, when we leave here, I probably should come check out the birch bark area here. When it's time to leave, let's try to loot up all the birch bark. That'd be nice. Okay, there's our cave. I think I have to go around the back side. Surprised none of the wolves came. I gotta be attracting every wolf in the area with how smelly we are. Okay, I'm gonna drop all the raw meat over here. Leave the cooked meat over here. Let's head inside and go to sleep. There's our sleeping bag. Uh, whoops. There we go. Okay, um, let's get a drink. Sleep for six hours. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Let's try five. Okay, nice. Hopefully the weather's not too bad. Hey, it's looking pretty good, actually. Okay, I gotta decide what we're gonna bring. I think I'll leave some of the saplings here curing. Maybe we'll take these with us. Two maples and four birch. Okay, let's leave a note in our journal. So we are in Ash Canyon. Uh, we'll call this the cave at the bottom of gold mine ropes. One moose hide. Lots of guts. Um, I think, are we leaving two maples? Two maple. And four birch. And lots of meat. That's oh, just one maple. Okay. Fix that real quick. Um, be one maple sapling. And then we'll carry all this with us. I think I'll leave the blue flares. Okay, I think I want to head out. Hopefully it's not too cold. How are we doing for um, rose hips? We've got lots of rose hips. I'm not going to get any more. Let's eat up. Do I want to take any cooked meat with us?
We'll see. Let's look for some birch bark. There's a deer. Um, on our way out of here, I think we will be um, walking through a bunch of birch bark trees. I'll just do a quick visual search here. You know what? I think I'm going to switch to a torch. I'd rather scare away the wolves than try to shoot them. Okay, that's the direction we want to go. I just don't know if we'll be walking into wolves or not. We don't have a super long way to go. Just have to go over this hill and then down quite a ways. And just drop down and uh, we should reach the cave. It's gonna, the cave transitions to uh, Timberwolf Mountain. Just gotta watch out for wolves, so. All right, Birch Park, where are you? I can see a piece over there. Three pieces? Might get a sprain here, it's the only problem. See if I can level out right here. Yeah, there we go. Get rid of our sprain risk. Well, this birch bark is going to be really nice. Replenish our stock. Is that a wolf? No, just a tree stump. I can't feel my hands. That birch bark is so, so useful. Okay, we're going to get into red uh, temperature here pretty quick. Might need to make a fire. So much birch bark. I love it. Alright, let's see if we can get a free fire with the mag lens. Uh, I'm gonna drop all our meat. Nope. No free fire. Um, you know what? Do I wanna yeah, whatever. I'll use this I'll use a match. That's fine. Play it safe. Heat up some tea and then we'll press on. Come on, little fire.
Okay, hopefully I can warm up with this. And uh, let me check our water. Two, three. Oh, we're doing great. Not a problem for water. Um, okay, let's craft up some birch bark. Oh, I forgot. I can actually select a few of them at, a, at the same time. Let's do. Let's do like four of them. Getting a bit thirsty. Try to warm up. All right, we'll cook a few of these and then head out. Take some torches. These are not very good torches. I'm gonna grab these. Okay, I don't wanna get turned around. I need to keep going that direction. Give us some good torches. Oh, here comes the wind. There's a good torch. I'm gonna get a drink. Wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Drink a tea. Let's drop some of these bad torches. Okay, that's looking better. Not exactly sure how much farther we have to go. It always seems longer than I remember. It seems like we just have to drop down a little bit, then we're there, but reality is it might be a little longer than that. I think if we just kind of hug the right side here, then it, uh, it will take us where we need to go. I think I'll drink the other birch bark tea. Let's make sure we stay warm. I'm freezing. I gotta remember I got that smelly meat. I don't know if there's any wolves down this way. I 
All right, well, I'm excited for this transition cave because when we come out of this cave, we're going to be halfway up Timberwolf Mountain. And uh, should be a pretty easy shot to get to the top. It is so cold. Pillar forest. Got some crows up ahead. The goddamn freezing. Do a little bit of jogging. Don't think I'm gonna go check out what they're looking at. Stay on this side. This might even be our cave right here. Ooh, nice. I don't know if this is it or not, but let's go check it out. Ooh, nice. This is it, guys. All right, let's go. Okay, new location discovered. Cave Dash Canyon. I'm getting a little bit of lag there. I'd like to make it to the end of the cave. Here, before we have to call it an episode, let's see what kind of loot we can find in the cave. Maybe some coal. Fortunately, we got lots of torches to make it through safely. Alright, I've got a fork in the road here. Is this a dead end? Maybe we'll find some loot in here. That'd be nice. Come across some good loot. I've got a fork in the road here. Um, I'm going to drop a stick here. Let's drop two sticks and we'll point them the way we came from. Let's head down this way first. Another fork. Let's go this way first. Stay to the left. Some antibiotics. Some firewood. Looks like that's about it. See what's up this way. Is this a dead end? No. Oh, I've got a dead person. No loot. Just one piece of coal. Looks like the rocks kind of fell down, didn't they? Yeah, that's like on top of her. 
Well, I don't want to stick around to find out if any more rocks are coming down. What time is it? Yeah, I think we're going to have a nice sleep tonight. It'll be good to get us back on our proper sleeping pattern. Sleep here in the cave, rest up fully. So I do have, uh, I think, three rope climbs? At least two. We have at least two rope climbs ahead of us. Possibly three. There's a view of the uh, rock fall. Not very much coal in this cave. I think we've only picked up maybe two or three pieces. Okay, uh, I don't want to get turned around here. I'm going to drop another couple sticks. We got one passageway going that way, and one over here. I'm going to check this one first. Let's see where this leads. Dead end? This must be the uh, passageway out. Yeah, I think this is the right way. Two more pieces of coal. I wonder how our tater friend is doing. Levy Tato, Levy, Levy Tater, Spud, Buddy. Um, I should have wrote. I should have written down all the different names we have for him. Hopefully, he's hanging in there. Okay, I think this is where we want to stop for the night. Let's drop our saplings, get those curing. I finally remembered for once. Put down our bedroll. Um, how do we want to do this? I do have the meat still, don't I? Um, let me sort by weight. Looks like that's a smaller piece. We'll eat that. Eat one of these. Get a drink. All right, I'm going to go to sleep. Sleep for 10 hours and then probably for two more hours because we are super tired. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Get a drink. What did that say? Survived 81 days, 22 hours, and 40, 46 minutes. Nice. Let's get a drink. And I'm going to sleep as long as it's going to let us. It's probably just a couple more hours. There we go. Fully rested. And the sun is up. Bright new day. Our sleep pattern is back on track. We're fully healed. We got enough meat to fill our belly. 
let's go ahead and eat uh, eat some breakfast. I'm glad I took the moose meat with us. It is nice to have that. I'll probably drop it outside the cave here. Flutter lantern. Let's pick these up. Okay, we are a little bit on the heavy side, which means maybe I do want to leave the uh, some of the saplings here, possibly. Um, let me drop. If I drop these, what's our weight situation? 48 out of 45. Oh, I got another piece here. Okay. Sort alphabetically. Um, oh, we got all this wood, too. Let's drop that. I'm going to back up a little bit. Okay, we're at 45.99. Um, I could drop some of the coal. And we're lightweight. Okay, if I can, I do want to take these saplings with us as much as possible. Um, where'd you go, saplings? Or, or do I still have them? I do still have them. Nice. Okay, let's drop these outside. We're gonna need to be lightweight to uh, get up these ropes. Drop the meat here. Nice guys, we made it to the deer clearing here at Timberwolf Mountain. Here's our transition cave. And we're gonna be heading up that way. Hopefully to the summit of Timberwolf Mountain in the next episode. Uh, but for now, I think this is where we're gonna call it. Right here, so we exit the cave. Uh, thanks so much for coming along. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Love to hear from you. If you wanna leave me a comment, I'll be sure to get back to you. Um, or if you'd prefer, just leave a thumbs up. It'd be much appreciated. But most importantly, guys, I do hope to catch you in the next episode. Take care. Thank you.